Hi, Fresh family. Okay, we're going to make a fresh dog poodle. So we're going to take some of this pipe cleaner. This is black. And you're going to fold a piece of it over, and that's going to be the front. That's going to be its head. And then you're going to fold it downwards, and you're going to make a neck like this. And then the back part is going to be a tail. So you're going to do that one about, mm, about five inches tall. And then you're going to cut it like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll it down twice. And you're creating a little puff for the tail. So it's going to look like this. So this is just like the basic body. Okay, then you're going to take a single piece. And you're going to roll both ends to make it fluffy. Fold it in half. And you're going to twist it in the front half of the poodle. Tight. Do it just a tight and twice. So that it looks like the feet are here. That's the head. And this is the tail. And then you're going to take another piece and do the same thing in the back side. So, you're going to take another piece like this, roll the ends, fold it in half, and where the tail part is sticking up, you're going to pull it down here and do the same thing. So it's going to look like this, see? You're going to pull it down, and then you're going to twist it. Like this. And I always twist it twice. So that it's firm. Okay. So now. With this you have to play with it. Play with the body a little bit. So there's the feet. There's the head. And then. There's the tail. And what you can do. You can adjust it to make it smaller. You can take some more and wrap it around the body to make it more firmer. So you can go in between the legs, around the neck, and around the body. And continue it to the back side and do the same thing. Just like this. So. You want to kind of form the poodle shape. And the feet you want to go frontwards. So you're kind of going to play with it a little bit like this. See that? See how it looks? I kind of want to play with it a little bit. And it's a little bit of a balancing act. See that? Like a little poodle. And then you can just kind of balance it out because... Um, it's not plastic or anything like that. Some people make, there's different ways of making them. People make them all kinds of ways. I like the, I like the, the fluffy poodles. Because I used to have a fluffy poodle. His name was Mr. French. See? 
And then they have these tiny little eyes you can buy at the dollar store. And you can glue them on. So you just face them towards you. And you can put um, a collar on them if you want. A collar. Just take a little bit of um, ribbon. Some people, you don't have these little eyes in your area. You can always use pearls, too. People do that, too. So you put one eye in. And it's important to put the eye on the same place on the opposite side. So you kind of just visually look at it. Here goes the other eye. So you put an eye there and an eye there. Now what you can do is take a little piece of felt and cut it out and you can make little ears. Or if you have extra I have extra, let me let me grab it. It fell on the floor. If you have extra, you can cut little ears. So just fold it in half. Just fold it in half like this. They don't have to be too long. This one is uh oh, about about six inches long. Just fold it in half like this. And you could wrap it around the back portion of the head. And then you can form ears, see? Like that. Oh, his eye fell down. These eyes can go wink wonky really quick, so um, you got to kind of play with it a little bit. Let me, let me readjust the head. I would actually put the eyes on before I put the, put the ears on. And then you just make that nose a little pointy just by pulling it up. Okay, let me get some eyes. I had to take those eyes off because they fell out. And actually those eyes were a little bit too small. I'm putting a little bit bigger eyes on it. Because this, actually this poodle is a little bit bigger than most, most of the time people make the little small poodles. This one's a little bit bigger. I'm just taking some eye. I'm using tacky glue. This kind of a tacky glue. You can buy it at uh, Walmart. It's two dollars and something cent. And then you put the eye on one side. See, that's better. I went for the bigger eye. See, a little bit bigger. And then just make sure you use the same size on the other side. And you put. Tacky glue on it. You look at the head and try to get it as even as possible. So you can kind of pose his head down after he's looking down. That's got to dry. He's got to dry. Sometimes people put a, a pearl on the nose. They make a little nose. So you just kind of play with the balancing of it. Body and stuff like that. 
it will stand because it is pipe cleaners after all, you know. But see, you got a little poodle. Now your fresh doll can have a its own little poodle. I'm gonna have to play with the legs just to straighten them out some. Because pipe pipe cleaners bend very easy. But once you get the balance going, and the little tail, Got a cute a little poodle. And this was like a fluffy one, so you just play with the legs. This one is the leg it seems to be a little bit off. So you just gotta bend it until it's as even as you can get it. So you just bend it until you can get it just as even as you can get it. The front ones and the back ones. And kind of play with that a little bit. I had a black poodle like this. His name was Mr. French. See, so now Tamara has her own poodle. And you can do them any color. They come in a lot of colors, white, pink, green, yellow. You can use different colors to make them, uh, to make poodles. And you know, if you use this, you can use the smaller ones too, these smaller pipe cleaners, if you want to do like a little small poodle. But anyway. Okay, well, I just wanted to give you a little something fun to do. You know, like I said, play with it a little bit until you get to exactly the shape. I'm sure there's other tutorials on doing, making these poodles. I just make, I like to make my own. I just make it up, I just make it up myself. I did it one year for the Barbie convention. I made like 10 of them. So it's like, um, my table dolls had uh, their poodles. So he's got his little ears. And you can puff him out a little bit if you want to. Just if you want him to show a little more, you can puff him out. See? I haven't tried other dogs, because usually when I see pipe cleaner poodles, they're usually poodles. Because that, that, they were popular at one time. But you see how you wrap it around a couple of times, you go under the leg... And you go into the other leg, and you kind of form and make it a little puffy here. And then you do the same thing in the back, leaving the center part not as puffy. So that kind of gives it the body. And then you um, kind of roll up the legs, and then you kind of roll up the tail, like that. See, so your fresh doll can have its own poodle. And you can name it whatever you want. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. And there'll be other classes. I gotta figure out a way of um, setting up the camera so you can actually see better how I'm doing it. Because I've only done a couple of videos, and, and I'm using, I'm recording them with my telephone, so that's why it doesn't look perfect, you know. But it's cute. It's a cute little poodle. Little Mr. French. And this is this will be Tamara's dog, so. Alright, well have a good evening and uh, until next time.